food and medical care up up to 18 hours a day outside, television, and even art classes. Those are some of the conditions for terror detainees at Guantanamo Bay. Tonight, as the Obama administration makes plans to close the facility, national correspondent Catherine Herridge gives us a glimpse of life at the place they call Gitmo. Welcome to Camp 5. This is a maximum security facility. This is uh, for our most non-compliant detainees. There's uh, assaults by bodily fluids, uh, feces, urine, semen, water, uh, physical assaults, headbutts, stomps, kicks that occurs routinely. You have a lot of problems with detainees trying to pull the arms of the guards through here. As the guard uh, presents the food or the medical, uh, the medicine, uh, the, detainee the detainee will reach out and basically, try to grab, basically does this. grab the hand or right. the sleeve right. and, and try then to pull him through. Welcome to Camp 4 um, inside Camp Delta, our most highly compliant camp. They get uh, up to 18 hours a day uh, outside. Uh, they also get large uh, communal style recreation. It defines compliant. The ability to uh, obey camp rules. We started art class yesterday. It was our first class in this classroom, and uh, we've had 50% sign up. It's, uh, it uh, is very popular. Just a single point restraint uh, from, their, from their leg, uh, but their hands are free. Typically, you have about 10 bunks in, the, in the, each bay. You have 10 mm -hmm. for compliant detainees, and every detainee that comes from Guantanamo Bay gets these. You have warrants to indicate uh, that they are non-compliant, that they are in a disciplinary status. As you can see behind you, you have a uh, television mounted. Uh, we vet very closely what uh, we let them uh, watch. They love the deadliest catch, uh, the fishing program off of Alaska, cartoons. There's many things that uh, can agitate our population. We've had some that a simple advertisement on TV uh, with nothing more than a fully clothed uh, uh, female that was washing her arms, I believe it was the Palmolive advertisement, uh, just agitated, set them up. Uh, we had one population that actually uh, destroyed a television over that type of advertisement. So this, this is, is a typical, typical cell. cell. And what's this and for right here? This is a uh, arrow that signifies uh, the direction of Mecca so that uh, every detainee, regardless of location, can observe their uh, religious beliefs. This is uh, what we call Camp 6 Medical. Or how much do they use being sick as a ruse to stage an event? They do use it very, uh, quite often to communicate, to assist them to communicate to other camps, other blocks, other pods. So even after all this time, yes, for many of them, they're not compliant? Yes, ma'am. Catherine Herridge with a tour of Gitmo.